Today's recipe is called a hot cocoa cookie. Not only is it gorgeous, but it tastes fantastic. This is a very special fudgy Christmas cookie. First thing we're gonna need is 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Add in one stick of unsalted butter into the microwave for about one minute, stirring every 20 seconds or so. Okay, set that aside. Let's get our dry ingredients together. In the bowl, we have one and a half cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Set that aside, and now we're gonna start building our dough. To your mixing bowl, we're gonna add in one and a fourth cups of light brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and three large eggs. Mix everything together. Now we're gonna add in our melted chocolate chips and butter mixture. Now we can add in our dry ingredients. Mix everything until combined. Don't forget to scrape the sides of your bowl if you have to. Once we're done mixing, this dough needs to sit in the fridge for one hour. So we're gonna cover this with plastic wrap and chuck it in the fridge. It's been one full hour. Grab your tablespoon and scoop out some dough. Roll it into a ball and place them on a parchment lined cookie sheet about two inches apart. This was my first time making these, so I gave them plenty of room to spread. I wasn't sure what kind of a party they were planning once I put them in the oven, but I wanted to make sure they had plenty of room. The recipe says to flatten them slightly before tossing them in the oven. I did this with the first batch like the recipe suggested, but then forgot to on the second batch. Honestly, they came out looking exactly the same. So in my opinion, that's one last step to remember. Into the oven at 325 degrees for 12 minutes. While the cookies are in the oven, we're going to get our marshmallows ready. You'll need to have a large size marshmallow not those regular small kinds that you put in your hot cocoa. Take your marshmallow and cut it in half. Now that the cookies are done, take one of the cut marshmallows and place it on top of the cookie. Cut side down and tap it gently so it sticks. Once you have all of the marshmallows on, put your cookies back in the oven for three more minutes. This is going to smooth out the edges of your marshmallow and soften the inside so that when you bite down, the texture you feel is more like a s'mores marshmallow. Soft and gooey, yet because it's not a s'mores marshmallow, it still holds its shape and it keeps all that yumminess contained inside. Let your cookie cool for a few minutes before moving them to the cooling rack. Now it's time for the final touch, the fudgy topping. To the bowl, we have two cups of powdered sugar, Add four tablespoons of melted butter, one fourth of a cup of unsweetened cocoa, and one fourth of a cup of hot water. Add in half a teaspoon of vanilla and mix everything together. You'll notice that this almost looks like the consistency of frosting. It's thick and it doesn't look like it's gonna give us that melted look we're going for. And you'd be right, it sure doesn't. As you can see here, I still placed it on several cookies to see if maybe, just maybe, it would do what it's supposed to do and spread. Nope. It did not spread. It stayed exactly the same. Duh. <laughs> so I thought, well, maybe I could stick them in the oven for a little bit and the heat from the oven would melt them a bit and they would spread a little. That kind of worked, but it still didn't give me the look I was going for. <laughs> Luckily, this recipe makes a little more than 30 cookies, so I had plenty to work with. I then had a light bulb go off in my head. Stick the topping in the microwave for 30 seconds, and there you go. The perfect consistency. Take your spoon and spoon out a small amount of the icing on top of each marshmallow. Quickly go back and dump on your sprinkles. If you have kids, this would be the time to get them involved. Put them on sprinkle duty. These cookies are stackable after about 45 minutes. The icing needs time to fully set. I hope you were inspired by this cookie. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on giving this cookie a try. I'll leave a link to the Pinterest recipe in the description box below. Thank you for watching my video, and if you like this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe to my channel.